Jamaica's hurricane history, a timeline. Annually, the hurricane season lasts from June to November. Jamaica, along with several other Caribbean islands and mainland territories, fall into what is commonly understood to be the Atlantic hurricane belt, meaning that these countries often experience the effects of storm systems during the hurricane season. Some of the storms experienced by Jamaica have formed unforgettable parts of the nation's history because of the impact they had on lives, land and infrastructure. Elite Jamaica has compiled a timeline of the storms that impacted Jamaica since the practice of naming hurricanes, which started in the early 1950s. All in our quest to help you dig deeper into Jamaica's history of hurricanes. Welcome back to Elite Jamaica, the place you come to learn about Jamaica and Jamaicans. If it's your first time joining me here, consider subscribing to the channel by clicking that red subscribe button and remember to turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon so you never miss any of my updates. Our first hurricane is Hurricane Jig in 1950. Hurricane Jig caused heavy rains, flooding in central and western parishes. All crops were damaged, especially bananas. In 1951, Hurricane Charlie. Hurricane Charlie took 154 lives, caused 2,000 injuries, over 9,000 left homeless. Banana, coconut, citrus crops destroyed, and 80% of Marant Bay destroyed. In 1954, Hurricane Hazel caused 32 deaths, heavy rains and flooding, all coconut crops destroyed. In 1955, Hurricane Janet caused heavy rains for 10 days and heavy flooding. In 1958, Tropical Storm Gerda caused the North Coast flooding. In 1963, Hurricane Flora caused 11 deaths, $12 million worth of damages, and the heaviest rains for the century in the Jamaica recorded history up to that point. Damage to crops, livestock, and the properties. In 1964, Hurricane Cleo caused no major damage in Jamaica. In 1973, Tropical Storm Gilda caused heavy rains, several flooding, six deaths by drowning. In 1974, Hurricane Carmen caused the heavy rains in the south coast, all banana crops destroyed. In 1978, Hurricane David caused heavy rains and flooding. In 1980, Hurricane Allen caused eight deaths, 4,000 to 5,000 left homeless, Jamaican $200 million worth of damage, all banana crops destroyed. In 1988, Hurricane Gilbert caused 45 deaths, hundreds left homeless, US $800 million in damage, all banana crops destroyed, tourism and the mining industries disrupted. It caused also a lot of flooding. In 2004, Hurricane Charlie caused one death, and $7 million in damage to roads. In 2004, Hurricane Ivan caused 17 deaths, over 18,000 left homeless. In 2005, Hurricane Dennis caused heavy rains and flooding, billions of dollars in damages. In 2005 again, Hurricane Emily caused heavy rains and flooding, billions of dollars in damages. In our next video, we will take a look at three ways in which climate change is expected to affect Jamaica. Thank you guys for joining me again. I really do hope you found this video interesting. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to Elite Jamaica by clicking that subscribe button. And turn on your notifications so that you always receive my updates. I am Alex. Bless.